Subscribe to get contents via mail. Purchase shorthand journals and more. Subsequent to the dismissal of the second appeal, the appellants and the respondents compromised their dispute and such compromise was reduced into writing. According to the written compromise, the appellants were entitled to retain half of the two-third share of the land in dispute and the respondents were to retain the other half. The respondents admitted in their compromise deed that the appellants had taken possession of their share of land. When this compromise was presented before the division bench of the High Court of Punjab and Haryana in letters patent appeal which came to be registered, the division bench of the High Court disposed of the said letters patent appeal in terms of the said compromise petition. Leaving aside the other facts in the present case, we may state here that a specific defense taken by the respondents in their written statement was to the effect that the suit was barred by limitation in view of Article 58 of the Act because of the suit having been filed after about 18 years of entering into the compromise by the parties in the High Court in the letters patent appeal must be filed within three years from the date of entering into the alleged compromise by the parties. Accordingly, the respondents alleged that the suit must be dismissed on the ground of limitation. We make it clear that since the only question involved in this appeal is relating to the question of limitation, we have not considered the other aspects of the matter in this judgment. After the parties had entered appearance and lead evidence in support of their respective cases also on the point of limitation, the trial court held inter alia that the suit was barred by limitation in view of Article 58 of the Act as the cause of action arose in 1972. The High Court has not exercised the caution that was expected to while dealing with the judgment of acquittal by the trial court. High Court was not justified in interfering with the well-considered judgment of the trial court. The judgment of the High Court is set aside and that of the trial court is restored. The appellant is allowed to go in appeal to the higher court if he is not satisfied with the judgment of this court. Leave is granted to pursue the matter in any court for final decision.